Well, warm greetings. I'm Jack Stocken from LearnBridgeOnline.com. And today I'm going to tell you about the takeout double because I've seen students get this wrong over and over again. So I've devised a little mnemonic to help you on your way uh, to remember when to make this takeout double. And we're going to use that with a couple of slides um, that I've prepared for you today. Um, so you must think SOS. You may feel like calling for an SOS at some point, um, but think shortage. So that's zero, one or two cards in the opener's suit. Uh, o is for opening hands. You need to have 12 points or more. And finally, support. When you make a takeout double, you must have at least three cards yeah, in each other suit. Good, because that's what your asking partner to do. Um, and then responding to a takeout double. Yeah, this is probably something that even experienced players keep getting wrong. So it's really important. Naught to eight, you just respond in your longest suit at the lowest level. But if you've got nine to 12 points, and this is crucial, then you respond with a jump after the double. We'll look at that shortly. Um, although, and always try and bid your four card major if you can. Forget the five card minor, the four card major is so important. So do remember to jump with nine to 12. If you're lucky enough to have 13 points or more, then you can just bid to game in your longest suit. So that's really the focus of what we're looking at. So we're now going to play this hand. Uh, out for you. So West is the dealer. They've got 11 points. But remember, you can open the bidding with 11 points on the rule of 20, as long as you've got a six and a three shape. Add up to your points, which is 11, comes to 20. You could even open the bidding on a five, five shape and 10 points, called the rule of 20. Now, North, I've seen many players pass with the North hand or overcall one no trump. It's not right. They must think SOS. And they, they, satisfy all that criteria. They're short in hearts, a doubleton. They've got more than 12 points and they've got three cards in the other three suits. So this is perfect for the takeout double. Excellent. Uh, East passes and South. Yeah, this is interesting. How does South respond to the takeout double? Okay, this is really important. How many points have they got? They've got 10 points. Yeah. So I think many players I've seen at the table, they've just bid one spade, their longest suit, or even two clubs, which would be worse. But what they must do, because they've got nine to 12, they jump one level. So very well done if you bid two spades on this hand. We certainly don't want to, I don't want to know about your clubs. I just want to know about your four card major. Back to North. Well, this is very good for North, isn't it now? Because with 16 points, Knowing that partner's got nine to 12, yep, they can bid straight to game to four spades. There we go. And that will end the auction. Right, let's see if we can make four spades now, uh, practice our, our play. We've bid the hand very nicely. Um, ace of hearts lead, of course. Yep, Jack's favorite lead, ace from ace king, it's known as in parts of North Yorkshire. <laughs> um, all right, well, thank you, partner, for the dummy. And we're just going to decide whether to draw trumps or not in a, in a second or two. But first, let's just follow suit. I'm going to throw the queen of hearts under the ace. Be a bit cheeky. It's what I like to do. Make it look as though I've got the singleton. Sometimes works. But no, West isn't falling for this little ruse. And I rather sheepishly play the fall. But that's fine. It's all part of the game. A bit of common, common deception. Um, and of course, they switch to their singleton diamond. Which I'm taking with the king, clearly. A little bit of encouragement from East, the seven, to say I've got the queen. And here's the thing. It is a hand to draw trumps on. And what I'm going to do is finesse the queen. OK, remember the rhyme, eight ever, nine never. People often remember the rhyme, but they forget what it's to do with. So with eight cards like here, we're going to finesse ever. It's all only to do with the queen, not the king. So we play the three of spades. Second player play low. And we put in the knave. Remember here, we're finessing. We're playing towards the king jack. We're not playing the jack first. That wouldn't be a finesse. And because it's my lucky day, the jack wins. So I'm going to cash the king. Draw out the last trump before I forget about it. Good. Mission one accomplished. But we've still got some work to do in the club suit, haven't we? We're going to lose a diamond. But we've got what we call a two-way finesse here. We could finesse the queen of clubs either way. But I remembered from the bidding that West opened the bidding with one heart. So what I'm going to do 
is play West for that missing queen of clubs. So they're much more likely to have it. I'm going to play the knave. And West is an experienced defender. They're not going to think about playing the queen. They're going to play low in tempo. There we go. If they think about it or hesitate, <laughs> clearly they've got it. So they must have decided already that they're going to play low there. Low from the dummy. And the card placing skills have paid off. Yes, yeah, so I can now play a club to the ace. Of course, winning club to the 10. I can play out the ace of diamonds. I'm just finishing off really now. I'm going to give up a diamond to the opposition. And, of course, the last one is ours. So there we go. At the end of the day, the dust has settled. We've made our 10 tricks, 420. Yep, so four hearts bid and made. The key thing in the bidding, of course, was making the takeout double, first as north, and then jumping to two spades as south to show nine to 12 points. Very important, that. Um, and using that very useful mnemonic, SOS. And finally, uh, what we did in the play of the hand is we finessed the queen of spades and the queen of clubs. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that hand. Certainly, you can watch my classes on learnbridgeonline.com, uh, whereby I'm teaching beginners, improvers, and intermediates as well. Hope to see you soon. Bye.